Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sandik Sandas and this video is all about the AcroCheck Active Glucometer. So if you are experiencing a E1 error, E2 error, E4 error and E5 error, then what to do, how to solve. So please watch this video to know more. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe my channel. By link of the AcroCheck Glucometer and test tips, all links are in the below video description so you can check that out if you wish so first of all i will start with the u1 error which e1 error is the most common and most happening error in the aquature active glucometer so if you are experiencing a e1 error then it may be due to few reasons this is the used test tip always used a single test tip only single time so you can understand from its color you can see from the back side it is already turned into kind of red so uh, the non used test tip will look like the green one so you can understand this is the used test tip so you will have to uh, use a fresh test tips to measure the blood sugar and another reason of getting the u1 error that you will always have to use your test tip just before the expiry date so you can uh, always check the expiry date on the back of the um, file so this is the expiry date and this is the manufacturing date after the expiry it will you can also uh, experience this types of color the front side the green area will be turned to the blackish green that means your test tips are expired and you are using expired test tips that's why it is giving the u1 error also if you keep your lead open or you are keeping these types of test tips in a moisture or damaged area then it will also damage your test tips always have to keep it in dry and room temperature and make sure this lid is totally closed second one that you didn't insert the test tip into the meter proper way so you will have to take the test tip and you will have to follow the arrow to slide and push it further until it is going inside then it will work and the next reason is you apply the blood the blood drop is too small or too little and that the test tip area will get soaked uh, by your blood if you don't give a sufficient blood very little blood then it will give the u1 error means the device cannot measure your blood sugar properly and the next reason is you apply the blood drop into the test tip very early before the beep sound so if you give the uh, blood before the beep sound or machine is ready then it will give the u1 error so in that case the test tip will be rejected you will have to uh, use a fresh test tip again so you will have to wait until uh, it gives the beep sound then you will have to give the blood drop and fourth reason most common reason is that uh, the measurement window the lens uh, there's a lens small lens by which it measures the blood glucose level so that area is a little bit dirty and it cannot measure the blood glucose properly so and then in that case you will have to clean that lens area and measurement area properly i, I have made the separate video you can watch that if you wish so these are the four reasons uh, of getting the u1 error uh, at your aquature active glucometer the next one is the e2 error that is also most common error so first and probable reason it may be that your blood glucose value is too little so if your blood glucose or sugar level is too low then it will give the e2 error and second reason is that uh, you remove the test tip to apply the blood into the test tip but you didn't put it back so in that case you will get the e2 error the third reason is that the test tip is bent so that is that test tip is damaged so you have bent it so you will have to slide it very carefully make sure it is not bent so if it is bent it will, it will give the e2 error or if you have given the very small amount of blood and the time is out you will have to give the second drop in case you have given the very small drop within the time so if you give the second blood after the time then it will give the e2 error so these are the four reason of getting the e2 error third one is the e4 error e4 error means you connected your echo check active glucometer to the your computer via usb cable while you are performing a blood glucose measuring and next error is the e5 error e5 error means the meter is exposed to an electromagnetic field or you have put it under the very strong light or sunlight so you will have to always measure it in the room temperature and its working temperature is from the plus 8 degree 
to 42 degrees so if it is below or it is above the cutoff temperature then it will give uh, e5 error or if it is uh, near about any strong magnetic fields like induction or even any mobile tower or any electromagnetic field then it will give the e5 error and that means this meter doesn't allow to perform in that condition to get the accurate blood sugar level and if you are experiencing the triple e error like this then uh, your device is malfunctioned in this case uh, you will have to contact the customer support it comes with 10 years of uh, direct replacement warranty so you can get replacement so how to avail the replacement warranty you can watch that video uh, from i button it will really help you and last one is the triple t error so triple t error and e5 error is almost same and that is also uh, about the temperature error so you will have to perform it uh, under the room condition so these are the common error codes uh, by which your acucheck uh, active machine reacts uh, or just communicates with the user so if you found this video helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel you can watch this video and also you can check the buy link i hope to catch you soon in the next video till then take care I was Sandeep Das signing off have a great day